All right, people. Uh, this is part two of the Johnny Domino MGE Table Talk episode. This, this is what bothers me about the police team. I don't think it's fair that the taxpaying citizens have to pay for lawsuits that these motherfuckers create. Again, I, Their personal assets... See, that Officer Bill of Rights is a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then how everything else is structured. You know what I'm saying? That union, that police union is horrible here. You know what I'm saying? Not just here. Yeah, probably everywhere. You know, it's like Klan members just like, we're going to start a police union. We can attack that way. It's, it's just like, and it's always the bad end of the stick for blacks. And that's why I'm, I, I try to educate. And I didn't want to do that shit. I didn't want to be an activist. I didn't even want to make ghetto ways. You know what I'm saying? But I may get away because, you know, they can get all us to tell on each other, you know, and snitch and say what he or she did. Man, tell where they at so we can avoid these motherfuckers. But this, this is also <coughs> my, my thing to anyone who who wants to get involved in community and everything like that. Study up on what you're saying, because eventually if people start recognizing you as a person mm-hmm. that you know, is a, you, like I was telling you how the 94 crime bill happened, right? Yeah. A lot of people don't know this, I that didn't. it was, it was basically crafted by local community organizers who people look to for answers. Who were black. And black, and, and, and the Congressional Black Caucus. They you helped know what? draft it. So but, so, but my point is, mm-hmm. they got in the room and they didn't know <clears> what to do. <throat> so then they came up with this. So, if you're interested in trying to speak out on issues and this, that's just, if, if anybody asks me something I'm not well versed on, I have no problem saying, well, I don't, I don't really know. know. Yeah. But if, 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 if you're, if you're promoting yourself as someone who is that, yeah. Do yourself the favor yeah. of actually knowing what the hell you are talking about, because there's been too many times where we have someone get in the room and they keep us on the menu. Yeah, you know, I, you said it, it right it, though with them three, them three s- s- credible sources. Yeah, just, I, I, just, I took just, that just fact check out of this whole uh, interview. I took that. Like that was that was that hit me. Like I need to do that more. Yeah, and I you mean, know just, just because it's online, that don't mean it's, it's true. true. Yeah. Like I said, they had video of Joe Biden reading the memo, mm-hmm. and they passed that around and said, "Told y'all he's racist." And I'm like. First, first thing when I saw it, I said, let me let me research. So I Googled Joe Biden and I Googled the words he was saying, da, da, da. And then the story comes up. And then another and another credible source comes up. Another credible source. He was reading this because he was trying to get this guy out of the position that he was in. But it's context. But if you just take a little piece of him saying, I don't want these niggas around my house, this, that, and the third, and then you post that. And then you can say, see, Joe Biden said it. Yeah, he did say it, but he was reading, reading a memo of what the guy Somebody said else verbatim that he said. was trying to get out to help. <laughs> Again, for me, it's like context. Just make sure what you're doing. But we have people that are so ready to just jump out the window about things without yeah. first seeing, OK, what are we jumping out before we do this? I'm all look. I'm all, I'm all for the fight. You got a lot of miserable people out there too, bro. And a lot of people got a gender that we don't know about. Well, it's it's not even about miserable. It's about we live in an age now where it's about being popular, and there's a lot of people out there that position themselves to be activist spokesmen or whatever. They don't have any real skill. I don't know why they haven't. Because hit, but, Fuck. no, hit, I, I didn't want to do that shit. No, I, I didn't wake up and be like, today I want to be an activist. No, no, Let no. me save black people. Saving black people is some of the hardest shit I ever did in my life. Cause these motherfuckers whoa, don't want to save themselves. But see, key word is that shit hard. Key word is saving. A lot of people they not interested in saving. Fuck. Here's the thing. You 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 didn't say that because you said, well, I just want to see if I can do my part, right? Wait, oh. what part? What say that again? You didn't. You didn't wake up and just say, "I want to help black people." And you want to do nah, your part to try to help. I just saw shit was fucked up, exactly. and I'm like, "Y'all nah. don't see this." And then I'm hearing and learning new shit, so I'm like, "Y'all don't know this." And I'm like, "Right, well, now let you- me use this platform that they come to see me say a bunch of stupid shit because I, I clown and play all day, exactly. I crack jokes." So why are you here? Put let the me candy in the medicine. I mean, yeah. well, put the medicine in the candy. Yeah, yeah let me let me try to teach you something. But I never woke up and wanted to do that, bro. Because it's like because you bruh, li- because <clears> you live in the real world, right? Yeah. You've never, you know, I ain't saying you just the most popular person, but you've never had a problem. You know, you're, you're a charismatic guy. 
Now you have other people who, like I said, <laughs> using the Mark Zuckerberg example, right? <laughs> <laughs> who never had that before, but this is a way for them Ola. to now get some shine. <laughs> right. I never had any skills to do anything, but now I can get online. <laughs> well, I feel like I, I can, know this person. <laughs> and I can say, hey, y'all, I'm a black activist. Follow me, and I'm going to just post a hundred times a day. <laughs> and... <laughs> And follow me, and I'm going to build a following, and I'm going to try to find viral moments, and I'm going to do all of these things. Dan Domino, set that up. Who you so, talking about, T? So I can, <laughs> it, it's a plethora of it's them. It's a bunch of them motherfuckers, man. It's a plethora man. of them. But my point is... They them camera that. whores? You talking about the camera whores? Yes, and, and they do this because, well, I <clears> never <throat> had anything tangible that I can that I can stand on anyway. And they this, see that door open, and they run through that motherfucker. I'll say this. A, a, lot, a lot of people become... <laughs> Uh, what do they call it now? Um, uh, life coaches. Oh, yeah. They become life coach. They become this kind of guru. They become ministers and all of these things. But here, but here's why. Here's why. I want to touch something. If you look at their resume, uh -huh. tell me what they actually accomplished in life before that. Because uh, these people, a lot of them, they want accolades. They want to. They want to walk in the room and get respect. They want to boss up, right? Mm -hmm. But they ain't got the nuts to really boss up, right? So they create this persona. And they easily could, you could buy one of them. You know that. Huh? You could buy them niggas two for a dollar. You can go to the YMCA and get certified. But my point buy. is, <clears throat> but they, they, they never, they never went full fledged in doing this because they were scared. But the way that they can play on, the way they can, I can get accolades, I can get people to follow me, I can get, you know, I can get respect. And I can get paid for it. If I can do it in and the I can name get of this. Right. I, if, if I say I'm a life coach, why would I take advice from someone? Talking about they're a life coach and they life ain't never been together. <laughs> I why, like this shit. Why why would why would I why would I go listen to a minister who, you know, if 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 they're purporting themselves to be a minister of God's word uh -huh. and they don't know they don't know nothing about what's in the Bible. They they can only quote you five scriptures that they memorized from somebody else. Right. And they can't go no they got a surface level understanding of this religion. We need to talk tell. to the nigga that's gonna teach him one day. You know they what didn't get the real teacher. My they point is, they got a surface level understanding of it, and when you deal with people who have a surface level understanding of things, mm -hmm. just like these these new activists that are coming out now, they have a surface level of understanding. That's why they were easily manipulated during the election. That's why they don't know about messaging. They don't know how to actually put anything out there because they have a surface level understanding of how government works. Well, this is what I want to say, bro, and I, 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 I... and I'm, I'm passionate about it because I'm tired of. People like that keeping us on the menu. They they are the worst kind, and I'm 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 gonna tell you why. Because anybody who's doing that work with passion, they 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 are not. They are never compensated correctly. They are never respected. They got more hate than anything. Cause you gotta think about it. I went against the police for black people. Right. I went against city government and policies for black people. You know what I'm saying? So I got this. It, this group don't like me. This group don't like me. I got another group that I see the injustice and racism. So the white some white people don't like me. Right. But then I got the brothers who see me changing my life and they don't like me because they don't like that. What I'm doing is getting attention like I asked for fucking attention. I didn't ask for that. I'm trying to help, genuinely help these people. And I'm like, man, this shit, oh, I don't know how they even do this shit. This shit crazy. And then ain't nobody paid me. You know, that be, but see, the people you talking about, they get paid off it. They didn't figure out how to do this, but you can buy these motherfuckers. They not genuinely there for you. The people you talking about, they are not right, bro. And then you got other people pushing agendas like hate white people. And I can't hate white people, one, because I'm biracial. I got all kind of colors in mm -hmm. me, right? I hate the people who's just hateful. I don't like snitches, rats, sex offenders, right? Cool. But I don't like the people who hate people. For some, you couldn't control where your daddy shot you at. He shot you where he shot you at. You can't control what color you was going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was going to be wherever your daddy shot you at. That's where you started at. So the thing about it is, everything that we've been self-taught, the white folks have taught me on YouTube. You see what I'm saying? Well, also, I and mean, then I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna get this too out, T. Like white people learn how to do credit, and then they teach everybody, and then they monetize it and they make money off it. I watch my son, my five year old, and my other my my little girl, my my daughter. I watch them watch YouTube, right? They are not men. I watch. I, I can't remember this man's name. It's something FG something TV. 
all he's doing is spending time with his children, playing games and blogging it, and kids watch it. So he's making money by being a good father. I'm like, this shit is genius. Imagine if I could wake up, go do all that good father shit, spend extra time with my kids, play with them all day, don't have to worry about going to 9 to 5 and just get my money from YouTube. Mm -hmm. That shit genius, bro. There's too much hate and, and cross shit being thrown around. And then you got fake people who know how to present themselves to the news and they, they know how to do this shit and they like, boom, this is an avenue to make money, but they don't really give a damn about the people who they trying to help. The worst, and the people who got it the worst right now is the middle class. The poor people, they have assistance. They can go get. They can go apply for shit. They can get assistance. The rich people, you crying about what you got to pay out from your big old chunk of money. The fucking middle class is carrying this this, mm -hmm. this damn world, bro. They the most taxed, and they the hardest working, and they they earn just enough to stay going, and they tax just enough to where they can't get over the hump and, and become and get to the high class. You know what I'm saying? Well, and but <clears throat> and, and that 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 goes back to even what we were talking about with with lobbying being legal bribery, but. Even 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 deeper than that, even if we even if we stick with the quote unquote black leaders, right? Mm -hmm. Not the elected officials, but like, I mean, you can throw them in there too. But if you look at a lot of them, and we a lot of them are compromised. And when I say compromise, America goes all over the world, right? And we pick other countries' leaders. Do you think it's a foreign idea that we can do that domestically too? Mm -hmm. Look at the quote unquote black leaders we've had over the last 40 years, 40, 50 years. Now, and tell me what their tangible track record is as far as a win. You talking about Malcolm X? I ain't talking about Malcolm X. I'm talking about the ones that are still living. We got black leaders that are still living? The ones that, that are purported to be. The ones that when oh the, oh them oh. The, the, the ones that when something happens, all of a sudden they get. No, called. we gotta do something. I look at it like this. Hey, some of these lawyers are getting bad too. Let me let me ask you this. Could you be hired on a job and have zero track record and stay on there for 40 years? Shit, no. Okay. Unless, unless my daddy owned it. Now let me ask you this. <laughs> Why do we give so much reverence to some of these people who have been quote unquote leaders for 40, 50 years, and we can't point to one thing that they have actually gotten done? I've asked several people this question before. Name me one tangible win that Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, or Louis Farrakhan has gotten. Name, name just one. Mm. One tangible win. That, I, that black people's lives are better today because of something that Al, Jesse, or Farrakhan did. Name me and one you thing. you know what? They all reverends, huh? Reverend Al Sharpton. What Jesse Jackson What was? church does Al Sharpton pastor? <laughs> the church of padded pockets <laughs> and television. I don't know, man. I, I, <clears throat> and, I don't and, know. But, and, I like to hear Farrakhan talk, but I, I'm going to have to really go Google, like, what did he do? What did he change? Like, what did he fix? I'm, you know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure, and, and it's like, listen. Because I remember, you Fa know. Fa Farrakhan has, has, has strong rhetoric. It yeah. ain't right. Yeah. The devil. What had name me one tangible win that he's got accomplished? Yeah. Name me name me one thing that black people as a whole in this country can can point to and say, well, because Farrakhan did this. Life is a lot better. And you know what? I gotta go back to what, what you what you said earlier today. I need three credible citations and sources to see. Cause but, but, I, I don't I can't name one. I, and I'm I'm not I'm I didn't check for it. And and, so, and I said that to you too because <laughs> you know you have a following. Mm -hmm. You owe it to your following to make sure that when you put something out, it's credible. Not not just, well, I saw this on somebody else's page, I'm going to just repost. Because now it's like, right, right, right. you know, you if you got 10,000 followers, I don't have 10,000 followers. I you ain't got them no more either. The Instagram deleted my page. <laughs> you, know, but you, you probably got more followers than me. But my point is, if you say something, you're going to talk to more people than you than, than is going to hear me personally say it. Right, right. So what I'm saying is I could say it, but if you say it, it's probably going to hold a little bit more weight. So you owe it to whoever's following you to make sure to make sure that it's, it's something right. You know, facts. And that's 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 what anyone like I said, even the quote unquote leaders, mm -hmm. they owe it. Give people a <laughs> real thing to do, you know. Don't give us another by county situation. Well, that's why I like the work that Eugene Collins doing for with the NAACP. You know, at least he, I can state, I know this for a fact, that we got 600 people out of jail 
because of the stuff he did. Again, I'm, and, and that's what I'm looking for. Point to the scoreboard. Show me something. Don't show me lip service. Don't show me you've I'm been going a, research you, this you've shit. been in a position of power and you've given rhetoric. You've given nothing but rhetoric. You made a you made a a good living off the shit too. They got a lot of people who are making good livings off of I'm rhetoric. Research. I'm, I'm, I'm want to see what your miles. I want to see what that milestone was. You got me now. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton. I don't know. They've been in the game for a while. They might have got a law or two pass. Did you ever check? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, ain't nothing out there. Oh shit. Oh, Lord. I, I'm gonna let you do your own research. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. Don't just take my word for it. Right. But I'm just. I just. I just want to know. Everything can't be reactive. Right. So a black man was killed. Al Sharpton comes to town. Straight to the camera. What about coming before he gets killed? And let let and let's ben, try to ben Crump, try to Ben Crump on the same shit. But now I'll say this: He can get you a lawsuit. At least he's an attorney. At least he can do something. <laughs> right, right. He you get know, you money. And that, and that's my thing. Now again, you know, he 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 is venturing into territory where I'm looking at him like I'm like I gotta research you some more now because mm -hmm. every time something happened, you he's show up. up, and I know you ain't you can't practice in all these states now. Yeah. You know, I, I know attorneys are limited to where they practice at as far mm -hmm. as states are concerned. You ain't practicing in all these states now, yeah. so it's like. Uh, but again, you know, I said that'd be crazy to get a new license. Something happened in Florida. Let me get a license on. Let me get a license in Florida. Minnesota. Hey, license. check the licensing. Uh, call let the bar. Let me apply to practice law in, <laughs> in, in Idaho because something happened there. But you know, I said just I, I'm looking at at what's tangible, you know, and and information, and the thing that we have to constantly be on guard of is misinformation. And and putting people on pedestals for what reason? Yeah, you know these are things I look for. You know, even even how we we handle things. You know, I I I, I brought this up earlier. I'm like, there's there's a lot going on. Now. I see that I'm kind of recapping a little bit too. But even like even last year, I noticed how people kind of kind of came. And again, I'm I'm not here. I promise, I'm not here capping for. For anybody at this point, but right. I just observe things, right? Right. I noticed how people kind of came <laughs> at Shauna Banks last year because of what she said about the kids mm -hmm. dancing on stage. At I did too. I ain't like that shit. Nah. And I went to uh, Liberty High behind them holding somebody fucking diploma. Not. not <laughs> let, let, let's get into that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it what she said? How she said it, or it, because it was her. And keep in mind, I'm not here as a fan of hers or at all. Right. But again, this is something that I just observed. Right. So when she pointed out that they was dancing across stage and this, that, and the third, and they looked a certain way and da 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 da. Right. What I observed was a lot of people were making the excuse for it, saying that well, they had a hard year. They fucking did. None of us went to school during the pandemic. Never. So none of us could really speak on it, right? Not disputing that. But here's the thing. <clears throat> Are we setting our children up for failure by doing that? Because whether they had a hard year or not, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Because what happens, those kids that graduated, they had to be 17, 18, some of them 19, right? So what happens the next time they're driving in the car and they get pulled over by a cop for speeding or run a red light? Does the cop care that they had a hard day that day? Does the cop care that they're late for work and I'm just trying to get to work, officer? No, here's mm -hmm. a ticket. Okay. So my point is by <clears throat> by saying that, by by because that, that was that was the main narrative that I saw counter what she said. They no one was saying that she wasn't wrong. They were saying they had a hard year. Let them let them just let them dance. Just let them do what they think. And again, I'm kind of playing devil's advocate with it too. Yeah. I don't really have a dog in the fight. Right. But at a graduation, is that a celebration or is it a ceremony? Well, <clears throat> this is my thing. And, and, it, and it, were it, they told ahead of time what the rules were as far as proceeding on stage or not? Okay, so so let's play. And I'm, with, and I'm asking these questions. Let, let's play with this. Do you trust the rule maker? It's not. It's not about that. That and that. It is. No, oh, that's not. Here's, I'm, okay, an, an, an inspection sticker ticket, right? If I'm poor and I can't afford to get the fucking light to go off on the dash, right? You want to implement 
an inspection sticker. That's not what you see what I'm saying. We, but I'm saying we talking about laws and rules, right? I understand that. So but I'm some saying, of the laws and rules are stupid as shit. Like, do you know they have a, a law that's called the presumed father? That if you sign the birth certificate, you stuck. We're not even about if the child not I'm, yours. I'm not disagreeing that some laws and rules are stupid. <laughs> right. What I'm saying is, as far as I asked a specific question, is a graduation a celebration or a ceremony? I feel like it's both. What's it billed as? Every program has it. Graduation ceremony. Okay. And and were the rules of that of said ceremony discussed? You you brought up earlier how you can't bring certain some some gangsters in the office because they be like, hey man, how, the pe-? certain decorum right. is required in certain areas. Uh-huh. Are we setting our children up to say that? It doesn't matter what the rules say. It's about my feelings and how I feel. I got a friend who, they mother, this was years ago, but he was telling me about it. They mother died right before he graduated. And no one cared. But he still went about doing, that's what's called growing up. And are we fostering our children into adulthood the right way? Or are we telling them that because you had a hard day. The, the world don't owe you shit. Nah, I agree with that. So what I'm saying <coughs> is, again, when we come at someone who could be even almost, because she older than us, that could be an elder, an, an, an older aunt or a grandmother kind of has earned the right to say. To call your child a jackass? To, okay, would you rather it come from her or someone who, who's of a different hue? Oh, yeah, I, no, I, I, I think it's even worse but, coming but, from her. But my point, my, my point is this though: by saying they look like a jackass, and again, I'm playing devil's advocate because I don't, I don't mm-hmm. have, I don't have a dog in the fight. This, right. this, this is about dialogue. I don't see her without a wig. I think she look like a jackass she, sometimes. But that's just my opinion. But, but my point is though, <clears throat> even when it was coming about, my first thing was: was it was the decorum of the ceremony discussed and agreed upon by all parties participating before it happened? Right. If that's the case, and they ignore but, but it, but this the thing: do you have a choice in that uh in that battle? Hell, when I graduated, the, the rules were you walk across the stage, and this is it. Both 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 graduations, high school and college. My point is this: by by making the excuse that they had a hard year, just let them do it. What happens in life later then? Because <laughs> you had a hard time today, just let them, just let them do it. No, nah, I feel just like let them have this, it. this is how I feel, bro. Let, let, let's just talk about it. I feel like there's some stupid, petty ass shit on, on, on. Like, okay, this is what I'm saying about no, her or about about, or, about, or, or the, about the, the, the whole system. School already set up like jail. You got to wear the same thing. You eat out of tray. You go through the lunch line. It's called child. You got to go in a room for a certain amount of time, and then you cross over. You wake up. They do roll. Call crossover. We, 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 we can have school we can have sucks discussion. ass. We, we can have that discussion. School about, sucks, bro. We can have that discussion this about the is, system as know, well, too. But, but my, it's but, dated. But, it's dead. But we're talking. But we ain't and talk- Shauna Banks still stuck in the fucking 60s and but 70s. We, but we're like, not talking about the system of school. We're talking about this one Ceremony. Yeah, but it's the rules that was made by the system, right? But my, but my point is this, though. Are we doing a disservice to the children by saying, no, you can st- just ignore what they told you and and dance across because that's more important than this. Because I, And like I gave you the example. So what happens the next time they get pulled over by, by a cop because they speeding? They going 80 and a 30 because they're late. Because they feel... You know, they had a hard time. The world does not owe us shit. Anyone. Nah, nah. No Nobody matter, owe us shit. No matter age, race, whatever. But my point is by 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 us. Yeah. Chesting up. But but with for, that being said, T, do we owe these old outdated motherfuckers a boring ceremony? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I'm th- on the cheer side. Okay, so okay, dance, so, motherfucker, because you know how many people didn't okay, graduate. Okay, so here's the thing then: abortions and this, pregnancies this, and this, niggas this, getting this, cute. But this, but this also goes back to the issue at hand: networks. Yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, then we need to have our own schools. Then that's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're getting it. But, but I guess but, what? But, I don't but, even but, think we should ring bells no more. But, I but, think we ought to put young boy on the change class. I don't agree with that at all. Fuck that. Turn but, it up. Keep the energy going. But, School is boring, but my, man. But my point is this though. But my point is this, wherever you go, you use the example of going to a meeting at a record label, a big executives of this and that, you got to have, 
you you said yourself, I know how to turn it on and off. Mm -hmm. Because when you get into a room, you got to be able to do certain things to get what you want, right? Yeah. If someone comes into your office, right? It's your office. You got rules for your office, right? Yeah. I, I, and, it, and 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 hey, and, I gotta tell my son, shut up every time he come in here before uh when he comes to the office before five. But, 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 <laughs> it's other people in the office, man. So my point is this though. So <laughs> do you ignore because well he had a hard day. Just just let him. Nah, nah, I understand that, man. Just but let I just, him know. I ain't and, lying. And look, being school being loud, suck. being I hate school. No, 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 no. We we gonna stick on your office. Yeah. It's before five o'clock, but he had a hard day. Just just let him make noise. And disturb the other people. It don't matter. Because this, he had right. he had a hard That's a different day. Context, no, 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 no. Yeah, it we, is. No, because you want to talk about the system as a whole. He didn't school? accomplish nothing. He well, didn't do twelve years to come here and say that little noise. That, no, you know but he had a hard day and he come to see his daddy <laughs> and in his office. I don't know. And 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 damn the rules because he had a hard day. Nah. Right? Man. He had a hard day at school uh, uh, maybe. with this outdated system, and now he's over here, and, you know, they got... So my point is, we, we do, do if by, okay. by, by adopting that mentality, so, are we setting our children up to say that this don't matter, I shouldn't have to, to, have to conform in any kind of way? Mm -hmm. And I'm not I'm, I'm not for conformity as a whole as far as, you know, you got to do this and, and talk proper and... I'm not for that, and that's not right. what I'm advocating. Right. What I'm saying is, in certain areas, <laughs> you have to do certain things. Right. That don't make you a sellout. That don't mean you 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 compromising yourself. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is this. There's going to be rules everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. There's gonna be you can't rules. own the world. Right. You can't own everything to make your own rules. Yeah. But my point in saying that is, are we setting our children up for the future to say, well, I saw my daddy chesting up for me when I broke the rule at this ceremony? You know, and I'm and again, how important is it to jig? And and I never even understand this. We, we call it jig, and jig is a derogatory term. <laughs> but my, hey, man. So, so, hey, and, but and, we and, also and, can't have council people calling our fucking cheering jackasses and needing my vote. She 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 missed the whole. She did just what they did. That wasn't a professional you, legal jargon or maybe the not. proper terminology to address the children maybe of this not. community. But but we also can have it both ways. And again, I'm not up here capping for it. I know, I know. But I'm just but, saying. But my point and is, I agree we, with we you. Can't, we, we can't. But say, you know what? We this can't say we want our elected officials to be authentically themselves, <sighs> and then they show their authentic selves by trying to speak on something of I in in their too. own way. Just like me and you were talking earlier, right? And mm -hmm. I was talking about the Purdue Farm and all of that, <laughs> right? And you said, let me break it down for my street niggas. Yeah. Let me do that, 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 that. So we can't have it both ways. We can't say we want people to be authentic. And then when they get down and they be authentic, yeah. she called our kids a jacket. Well, if that's how she talk. Yeah. If and again, if my let me kid, make this clear. If my child jigging, she's on the base going to see my baby mom. Let me make this, <laughs> let me make this clear. If some more rules would have been broke. <laughs> let me make this absolutely clear. That's why I'm looking at the camera. Let me make yeah. this absolutely clear. Let's go, I'm not here capping for Shauna Banks at all. <laughs> he not, y'all. I'm not. really not. He but not. I'm, but I'm, I promise he's not. I know but, him. I'm really not. I'm really not. But he I'm, just, he's, you know, he's I'm just, putting it out there because it it disturbed me of how the reaction from the community. The reaction. But did she deserve disturb you at all? I'm, even if you agree with her, did her approach disturb you at all? Well, I said it last year that she could have had a better approach. Okay, but that's that, but again, that that's me. And let me look into the camera and say something too, kids. Fuck these old ass, outdated. This is what y'all need to do. Follow the rules at all times. Terrence is absolutely right. You, 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 if you don't listen to the rules out here, you're going to listen to the fucking free man in jail. And they're going to whoop you and throw you in the hole. You're, this is what you do. You motherfuckers all get together. When you put that shit on paper, you need to write down that you feel like these graduation ceremonies suck dick. And that you're tired of these boring Alex Trebek. Hold your applause, please. This is a motherfucking celebration anytime a black kid accomplishes some is shit like that. Is it a like celebration? Is it it a is a celebration, T. I dropped out of high school, man. Them motherfuckers, I'm, I'm happy we for them kids. We can't I got a GED in 2007 and went to college for a semester. Okay, then. But my point is this, though. We can't also <laughs> say, well, we want our children to be elevated and be on these certain levels with everybody else, right? But if everybody else can hold their applause... 
we got to show we can hold our applause too when it's time. Some of the parents bad as a motherfucker. How many parents they be might. out there listening? They might. Bye bye, blowing the horn and shit, they man. Might be. But my uh, point, some of us bad. I got ADD, man. I can't keep still. But, I want. I I want really create a school though, T. Like I, I, I'm, that's I'm, fine. But, but the but, point you making, I cannot disagree with. And and we and, do have to follow rules. You know what right, I'm saying? And, but, and Shauna Banks need to know, man. Look. <laughs> I respect her opinion. Let me, let I me, just didn't like how I was calling out cheering no damn jackasses. Let man, me, you got let all me, kind let of me, shit, man. You done bottled it up. You've been doing this shit for 12 years. Let me ask and they're telling you, be still. And let it's copping, capping down and shit like that. Let me ask you this. <clears throat> Do your children like everything you tell them how you tell them? They don't like nothing I tell them. And, and how you tell them either? Shit, no. Do you care? No, but they mind. Whoa, 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 But you're also an elder. Let me tell you this. All right, we do need that. Let me tell you. And so, so, so we, again, you right. we can't, we can't right. say we want elders because I got a grandmother and she going to tell you exactly how she feels. And she don't care how she feels. And she, she not going, she not going to filter no, herself. And nobody better not jump out of line. That's my point. Facts, T. That's Facts. my point. Everybody jumped Y'all need out to the, listen, bro. Everybody jumped out the window Look, on her. start a petition. Get get niggas like me involved. I will fucking. I want this shit to be better. I want school to be school. Suck, but but, but we but we can't want these we different stuck. things. But we but then we attack what we say we want. Like I said, listen, that's just like you know you everybody. Point, everybody everybody, everybody keeps reminiscing about how it used to be in the old days where the neighborhood basically raised you. You know you you know you couldn't talk back to an adult. Yeah, a stranger a, pop your ass. Adults. <coughs> so di- didn't she? Di- and then your mama say, "I'm gonna whoop so, your ass again." Yeah. So wait, so the stranger, uh, not even a stranger, the neighbor, not a stranger, a neighbor. Neighbor. They familiar with you enough. They're of the community, and they'll pop you right. Yeah. Now go tell your mom. I'm gonna tell your mom what you've been doing. And I'm right? gonna tell your mom I pop you. Okay. Yeah. So again, just playing devil's advocate. Didn't Shauna Banks pop them in public, basically, and then Verbal. we got mad? <laughs> but, but, but that's what we, that's what we say we want. We, so maybe we, we us punk ass parents the problem, huh? <laughs> we, we want the village back, but we don't want the village. Come on, man, we can't be like that. And I, like I said, I'm bringing. Uh, you know, we we talk about it. Yeah. I saw the reaction. I didn't appreciate it because I'm like. Again, you can feel however you want to feel about her. Like I said, I'm not here capping for her, but the point I got that, on her ass. The, on my but the point that I'm making is the reaction that came from that is so the elder in the room can't say what poss- probably needs to be said without getting and that and that 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 <laughs> also brings me to the schools, right? So it used to be I'm wrong, y'all. It you gotta listen, bro. It and 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 I and, and I can speak on this because my mother is a teacher. And right, she can right, tell right. you how yeah. the children are are unruly. But then if you say something to them, the parent gonna come up there and try to get in your face about it. Yeah, you bad. don't tell my baby nothing. Da 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 da. Right. How? It, so again, are we setting our children up when uh, they get older because they're not gonna be these little kids all nah, for the rest of their life? By the time they're and, eighteen, and, and you know what? I'm 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 at that age. I got 21 year old, 20 year old, 19 year old, 18 year old. I got grown children now. Right. And I'm starting this raising, I'm, now I'm raising adults. Because so, these motherfuckers are crazy. And you right. You so right. that's what I'm saying. It's children, like, are, are we setting them up? T, let me talk to him. T. He, he making some barely fucking points. I'd be trying to argue for y'all because I feel, I feel y'all. I swear. Just listen to them fucking people. And you know what? Shout out to uh, the, the Coach Digg and uh, Brandon, the principal. At uh, Liberty High, man, me, Cleve Dunn, and uh, Eugene Collins went up there because they took a kid diploma for dancing, and we was. We, you now know, let me ask you this: us three, we felt the same. We, I still feel the same way. Fuck that, give me his diploma, you know. Well, let, I, let you me know. ask you this: was was it being held for the they ceremony? They can't hold it. No, that's 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 yeah, my point. They can't hold that's it. That's my point. So yeah. again, we can't. We 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 have to we have to remain. Choose our battles. Well, it's not even about that. We have to make sure that we put the facts out there. Mm-hmm. We can't say we went up there because they was holding this kid's diploma, or was it just for the ceremony? And he was going. He was. <clears throat> he was a graduate. Well, we didn't learn that until we got there. But but you but you see but you see how. But I, I mean, but this 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 the thing though, bro. Shit's so messed up. You gotta have somebody that you can call when things ain't going. I understand right. that. And but I, we we didn't look. I I want. I'm actually going to the graduation this year. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Meet with I like Brandon. You know what I'm saying? Brand. I don't think Brandon is a racist. I think he's a cool principal. Um, he's a stickler for rules, and we know those people are gr- are good people. Not, but you know? but, but why do you think that is though? Well, I mean, it's maybe his upbringing. No, no, he no. may have an army background. He's or, an educator. He's an educator. So too, here's yeah. the thing. Again, as the son of an educator, 
all educators are stickler for rules because they have to maintain order in their classroom in order to teach the children and get through their curriculum because they have to be able to teach them something. Even if, even if you, you, you uh, and again, we could debate about curriculums and all of that. Yeah. But the point of the matter <laughs> is as a son of an educator who knows that you have to manage your classroom, someone who you, you have to make sure that, you know, order is being there because if, if the class is unruly, you might have a kid who, might not understand everything right then. Because and if it's unruly, now they're not, so now they're going to fall behind because the kid over here wants to be a class clown, but they might not have a problem following that was equations. That's why they I'm might like, be smart enough that they can count in their head. So it, if yeah. the teacher don't finish the lesson, it don't bother them. They're going to pass the test regardless because they're naturally smart. Yeah. This kid over here he need might that, need some that, more that help, time, but yeah. the, the more time that you're being unruly, <laughs> the less time they have a chance to actually learn something. I tried. So though. all educators have to be he sticklers writes. for rules. He writes, y'all. I tried. And, and we I can't, still like we can't sit up here and chess up because they up here doing they they want they want a jig cross there because they had a hard year. It don't matter. Everybody had a hard year. Get your jig on, man. Hey, listen to everybody it, had a hey, hard year. This is what I'm telling y'all. And Jeez. we and we can't come at people. Get you a fucking petition together. Everybody sign at school. Tell them you think the ceremony is boring. You need look what it is. What they call it? Uh, Liberty High is doing a student government, I believe. And then the the student government is gonna give with the students, and they're gonna submit things that's gonna be open for. And the student government can only do so much. They can only do so much, but they at least they're gonna listen to them, and I think that's a, a beautiful thing. But here's the thing too. You know what how, I'm saying? Give them a chance. But how important <coughs> is that though? Also too, I won't make this point, and I'm not going against what you're saying. I, I, you 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 brought me there, like I understand, right? But how important is it to let children know that they also have a voice and that what they think and their and how they feel is also important it's very important not just you listen to me do what i say listen to me do what i say absolutely like because you know it's it's a, it's a lot of time that these kids need to talk and they won't talk because everything is shut up do what i say oh, you know what i'm saying listen and so listen. at least they i think that all schools need to at least open up a platform or some type of avenue to where kids can openly Say anonymously, like if you're scared, just say what you feel. They need something oh, open to where they can submit a comment box or something to say, "Man, first hour sucks. I, I just woke up this morning. I did this, this, and that, and I, it's fucking boring as shit." Because I remember, look, my son, uh, I love science. One of my science teachers was a teacher named Miss Sashi. When I left Glen Oaks and went to Bel Air, Miss Sashi, when Miss Sashi talk, it's like, turn your books, place to place, 32 for the punk, you get a punk to sell your manicure. So it, I got ADD, I'm bad as fuck, I like playing. Just, just like we brought up earlier, the Southern draw, everybody has dialect. I, I couldn't understand shit she was saying. So I'm not going to learn here. So I came to class every day and disrupt. She used to call Miss Miss Buchanan and uh, uh and Coach Banks on me every day. I, I, I did all kind of bad shit. I'm not proud of it. But what I'm telling you is at that, at that point, that age, she had done killed me learning. Like, I knew I wasn't going to learn shit here. Because every time I asked her what she said, she wouldn't answer me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then I, I went too far. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But all this goes back to... to Family structure too, because if, if strong fathers are in the household, that child acts different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we 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 didn't weaken the 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 man and the black man being in the house. Period. You know what I'm saying? Then there's things in place to help to help take care of that family, whether the father present oh, there yeah. or not. Oh, that, that, and yeah. there's so many things pulling the black father out of family, bro. Like a lot of times, you know, like my son had to come move with me and he ended up finishing school. He ADD just like me. You know what I'm saying? So I understood what he had going on. But if I wasn't active, who knows how far they would have made it? Would he even play sports exactly. and stuff like that? And, you know, my other son, he doing good. I mean, it's, it's so many elements that we need to stop doing what's been done and start looking for some new stuff, man. I, we need I new agree. ways to educate. I agree. And Systems <clears throat> need to be reassessed. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, until we're there. And again, it's, it's, it's it, school refreshing? Dude, it's school like, yes, we're here. You know what I'm saying? Well, again, it's like, I, I th I, but I, I think, again, a lot of that is the, the restrictions they even put on teachers because you have creative yeah. teachers that go into classroom and they, they want to teach it this way and this way, but then it's like, you know, you have Nope, you got to stick to these particular notes. So again, it's it, it's not all about the teachers or the system. Sometimes it's just about how they've structured things now. 
Yeah. Growing up, you know, I remember we used to, you know, have different classes and the teachers were able to kind of take a little bit more liberty as far as how they present lessons. Yeah. And now it's gotten to the point where it's like even how they present the lessons is <laughs> restrictive. So the 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 point and everybody learn different. Ev- everyone does learn different, which is yeah. why, you know, you you have to you, you have to be sympathetic to educators because yeah. So that's why. Oh, again, I, they are they are underpaid. And, they're very and, underpaid, and they, and they, they are the keys to everything. They're underpaid they spend and more time with your children than you do sometimes. Right. You so, know what I'm saying? And don't talk about coaches. So which is which is which is why I go back to what we were talking about earlier, and being a stickler for the rules and this and that. You have to in. They have to be instilled in that early because otherwise, <laughs> it's human nature to want to operate off of how you feel. Yeah. But you know, just as a man. That just, just, just man shit right now. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody care how you feel. Fuck no. <laughs> so, uh, so that's why I said, are we setting our children up for failure by chessing up over a non-issue? Mm-hmm. Them dancing across stage is a non-issue. Well, it goes back to you know what I like about this. Me and you communicating about it, and I didn't agree at first, and I still want to disagree, but you're right. Now we we we've we've talked we've come to terms and now at this point me and you could actually move forward and now we did we we were different right you know I didn't like what she said you like she could have did it different but I agree with her you know what I'm saying and in some some ways I agree with her too I just didn't like she called her chin jackass but cool you know fuck like, it we all made mistakes like, I was like, a criminal how, how could I how could I stay and keep this on Shauna Banks then, forever man and then, and then you know like, what I'm saying and then on top of that. <laughs> Our children have heard way harsher things. Yeah, some some of mama call them bitches and hoes. So right. can can we really get mad at her for? And then she didn't call them jackass. She, she said, said their behavior, they, the, what they did was was like acting like uh, jackass, yeah. which was which is beneath the ceremony that they were participating in. Right. So they were. It was it, why why degrade yourself at this prestigious ceremony? He right doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Showing funny. them that, just like how you said earlier, and see, but, 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 in, in but, business you got to be able to turn. See some, how you said pre- prestigious ceremony. But just like how you said earlier, you got to be able to turn certain things on and off in the in the office setting, and it's because you try and do business, right? Yeah. If you go into the office, and it's hard with, to get all them people through there. If, if one motherfucker stop it up and they cheering, and the next person name can't be called, that's that's parts that uh, Brandon them brought up because they like uh, that's just like a sporting they, event. You call Clark, and then the next person is uh, something else, right? D Davis come up next or whatever, right? But they, they cheering for Clark and Jeremy Davis, and they why well, they still cheering? Because I understand that you know it, it's unfair to the person behind you, you know. Okay, we well, gotta, but here's the thing too. So, are we saying that <clears throat> a high school ceremony should be should have less rules than a sporting event? Because we know at sporting events, if the if the crowd is to or if like at college, if the band or, or school or high school, if the band is playing, they'll tell the band to shut up, or it's a penalty on the team, right? Because you're playing at a time that you're not supposed to be playing. Oh, uh, let me see. I, I I filmed a lot of football games. Sometimes they play. Louder to disrupt the quarterback and, and play call, and and the referee has the discretion to say, tell your tell your side to quiet down, or because I, it, it, it I think it happened at, at Bayou Classic once. It's possible they had to tell. I think the it, human jukebox. I think it was either Southern or Grammar. The, the baddest band in the land. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. <laughs> Grand fam. We ain't doing Grand that. Fam. <laughs> but the point the point I'm making right, they, they, had to, they had to tell the band, you know. They had to tell the band, you know, quiet down is going to be a penalty assessed on on the team. Damn. Yeah. So, again. And that's a sporting and, event. And I didn't sporting, know they did that's that, That's a though. sporting event with a band. That's college? College. It may be high school, too. Because I see the director, he play at certain times. Mm-hmm. And, and at certain times. I'm going to have to check on that. I'm going to get my three sources. Thank you, T. You Thank you, man. It, hey, y'all, this, this was uh, really uh, enlightening, man. I, I enjoyed this conversation. I enjoyed this conversation, man. We'll have to do uh, a part real. two. Yeah, I'm fucking with we'll it, man. Do a part two. Well, you know, you we, got anything we, else you want to talk about? We, we, no. How much time we've been in here? Uh, a lot, but I guess we're going to... like 15 minutes. I guess we're going to do the part two on your podcast. Bet, bet. We'll do the part two on your bet. podcast. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> I just want to uh, do my plugs, my, my shameless plug. Plug, 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 plug your uh, bags. Make sure y'all follow Citron Records. Next year, we will be looking for uh, the next hot 
teen or, or, or I'm looking for child talent too that I could really mold and teach the game to. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've worked with children before, and um, like I said, I ain't really I. I I let my work speak for me, man. I don't, I don't like to do a lot of self proclamations and me, me, me shit. I just I like to do the work and do good work, and people know that they can. A lot of people who work with me and they go on, they end up coming back to me because I I, I play fair. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to show them and teach them everything, and even if we don't agree, I don't really turn on them because I know they don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? But I really want to work with a kid group, and uh, I know it's gonna be hard, but. All this older talent and these uh, these older guys, they kind of set their ways. And I've been in this music industry for damn near 25 years, man. You know what I'm saying? So I know a good bit and everything I don't know, I'm going to just call and bother c uh, 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 uh Tony, Tony T, Monk, or uh, rap, uh, uh, rap Juggernaut, Kingpin. I'm going to call either one. I'm going to call Kojak, the producer. These guys that was in it when I was in it, before I was in it, you know. So... <clears throat> I won't open a, a start me like a, a group of kids, man, and I want to build their talent and build them as business people. The scary part is a lot of those Nickelodeon and Disney kids come out messed up, and I don't want to take their childhood. But some kids are natural entertainers, and you can't do nothing about it. Well, I think as long as it's fostered <laughs> correctly, they don't they they won't be messed up. They'd be in good hands because I understand a lot. I know some of my homeboys, they, they've they been in music and they've earned their limit off music. And they don't want their children to do it as a young child. They really want them to get through school, enjoy life, and be cheerleaders or be football players. And right. Because uh, sometimes that childhood is, uh, fame and, and becoming a star as a child, it takes everything from you. Yeah. And you can't even go in the store sometimes. Like, like, look at Macy. You know what I'm saying? One of the bad kids. Like, you know, them kids, they go places and they can't have normal days. You know, they, they sit down, they, they eat, a, they might be eating a Mac muffin and four or five people got to walk up. So you got to always be ready to be friendly because this, this these people support and pay you. Right. Even if they click your video, they paying you. So yeah. I watch your video on YouTube. You can't be like, well, you ain't pay to get on YouTube. Go buy my album. You can't be, you got to be like, thank you for every little thing you do. Yeah. You, know? you got to always be on. <laughs> so. That's what I want to do. I want to work with, uh, like, I, I, I like the transformation of uh, Mulatto. You know, J.D. had her with the rap game, and now she's still going at it. You know, she's she's got to more uh, adult, grown content now, but she was somebody that had been in the game for a long time. Like, I had Lil' and the Champ when he was a kid, you know, mm -hmm. and I got him his first deal. Like, my my I can't run from this music shit to you, like, it is what it is. Like, no matter how much it didn't hurt me, it's been the best and worst relationship I ever had in my life. I love it. I hate it sometimes, but I love it more than I hate it. You know what I mean? And, and entertainment, period, I, I can't run from it. Like, I love this shit. Just talking to you, like, do this shit forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we just, we really touching on some shit, though. like, I, I like talking to educated people because I don't know everything. And if I'm wrong on something, I like people to straighten me out. People, people... I, since I've been a street dude my whole life, people think they can't talk. You can talk to me about anything. You can tell me when I'm wrong, you know, and I, I'll say I'm sorry. And some people I'll say, fuck you. I don't care. You know what I'm a saying? A lot of people but, don't know you just, you know, a big teddy bear, too. That's all I am, bro. I love love, man. I, I love people. I don't wake up and want to fuck nobody up or, like, kill nobody or hurt nobody or do commit no crime. But, you know, in my life, I just did some things that I wish I ain't had to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> But I just my main thing right now, T, is to be more uh, uh, of a parent that can give uh, my kids opportunity. Like I really respect your parents. I look at them as my parents. I love them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, powerful, educated black couple that did well for themselves. You know, they did it, and they still doing it. You know what I'm saying? Together. And look, look, they raised you. You're a great guy. You're super educated. You know what I'm saying? You, you grind. You grind hard, and you're consistent. You know what I mean? So I, I just want to create those opportunities. I used to be jealous of the kids that had uh, a parent that could buy them the J's and shit when they come out, and they showing up to their games and shit. They got two parents in there, and people wearing shirts. And man, My mom wouldn't even let me play football. You know what I'm saying? Like It was just a bunch of shit, but now I realize that you 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 can't fault people for what they have in life. And a lot of shit that's going on with these kids right now, they don't have certain things, and they have their values mixed up. You know, your life is the most 
precious gift you have because you can't do it again. You know what I mean? So every day I've 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 converted from street nigga to um let me see what I can help and make better in the world. Let me see who I can help. I help somebody every motherfucking day. Every day. And I ain't talking about just my kids. I'm talking about strangers, people. Whether they be giving them advice or teaching them something they didn't know. I'm the type that I hate I had to pay for knowledge and dig and and study and sneak and do all kind of shit just to learn things that we should know. And I won't make this statement too. I'm tired of seeing black people learning shit and selling it back to their people. And I ain't saying they supposed to give it to them for free, but monetize the lesson instead of trying to make money off of black people so much. Cause we learn things that can make the whole black race. This is how I feel and what I believe. If I show somebody how to make more money and how to get better credit and how to have better management skills that nothing nobody ever taught me that makes that consumer a better consumer the more money they have the more money they're going to spend which it rises the economy and that's my thought process on it so i don't you know you can't i i, I could i've been around so long i could tell when somebody trying to use me but if you genuine and you you want to help me and you need help if you come at me on some border shit i'm helping you if you come at me trying to pay you we're going to talk. I'm, I might have time for it. I might not. I, I, I learn how to start saying no because I like just helping. I just like, and sometimes I fall short because I want to help every fucking body. Huh? I'm learning to put this phone down, put this bitch on vibrate, stay off that social media and just dive into that work. You know what I'm saying? But we got to get more. <clears throat> you can't save all black people, but when you find them ones that you take an interest and a liking in, show them what you know. I think it need more of that, man. I'm not. They got some motherfuckers that don't care about you. They just want to use you. They see you as smart. They see you as educated. And they see you moving. They like, let me use this nigga up and come get up. Then you know, I fuck him. You know what I'm saying? But what about the little kid that like, man, I want to work for free, Terrence, just so I can learn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now he want to sow intern, intern, bro, intern and barter. They're my favorite words, intern and barter. I, I before I learned how to shoot, I went to work for Joe Mexican. And I watched Joe Mexican. Then I, I watched the white boys' YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? And learn how to edit. And Koo taught me how to edit. Like, but we we bought it. We bought it. We traded. I I interned. You know what I'm saying? I've worked for a lot of companies back in the gap, and that's how I learned how to do certain things. You know what I mean? By working for fucking free, interning and bartering. Got to pay your dues. <clears throat> Got to pay your dues, man. Well, that's what we're gonna leave. It. Yeah. This this has been great. I've enjoyed it. Felt good. It's man. been uh, it's been enlightening on, on on I think on both sides. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to part two on your podcast, sir. Yeah, man, it's coming. Okay. It's so, coming, man. Thank y'all for listening, watching, and remember, you either at the table or you're on the menu. Damn you decide. <laughs> we out. <laughs>